What's going on guys, I'm Rockin' Raj, and today we're reviewing Aquaman. Aquaman is DC's latest uh, blockbuster. It is a spectacle. And by that I mean it's a superhero movie with a huge scale. There are wars being fought, bloodlines gunning for a throne, and it has the makings to be a great movie. But, the characters end up repeating themselves often. Also, sometimes the bad guys just appear with an explosion to end a conversation between two characters. I mean, like, this happens multiple times, and it just comes across as really sloppy. Wah! You mean me? And it happens like five times in the first hour of the movie. The writers didn't give Jason Momoa Arthur's most emotional lines, instead they reserved that for the actors playing his youth. This doesn't really play well. Also, while everyone else looks fucking sweet with Atlantean armor and tech, the man himself spends most of the movie in khakis and a long sleeve shirt, seeming more like he's going to a weekend barbecue than a quest. <laughs> it sounds silly, and it looks even sillier underwater. Where this movie shines is the action. There are swooping camera shots over the scenes as beautiful choreography slams bad guys into the surrounding environment. Sure, it's mostly CG, but the intensity is still there. The different kind of underwater creatures are great, and yes, there are sweet seahorse mounts. So overall, if you can look past the silly to see the cool, Aquaman can be a fun experience. I'd say if you're going to watch it, watch it in the theater, because without a big screen and big sound, the appeal will be lost. That's why I'm giving Aquaman four <laughs> little jellyfish out of seven. I came because I have no choice. High five, bro. I promise I won't do it again. Jellyfish. All right, I pinky swear. I guarantee I won't do it again. Smaller jellyfish. All right, bro. Bring it in. For real, though. This time, I'm not going to do anything. <gasps> Bigger jellyfish.